What's going on? So today I'm going to share with you three tips that can help huge in terms of growing a gaming channel. That said, these tips can benefit you with any niche, but in particular, they work extremely well with gaming. And as many of you already know, I have multiple YouTube channels and one of my newer channels is a monetized gaming channel itself. So be sure to watch this video because these methods work. So let's get started and don't forget, if you want short, to the point, step-by-step -step videos that actually teach you quick and effective methods for growing on YouTube and generating online income, and you don't like wasting your time watching long, drawn out videos that only give you a general idea on how to do something, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out because the faster you learn, the faster you earn. So for tip number one, and especially if you're just starting out, focus on a micro niche. And I'll explain why this is so important in a minute, but what I mean by micro niche is you want to be laser focused on a very specific type of content. Or in other words, you don't wanna be all over the place with your content. So for an example, if you are a gamer, instead of posting gameplay from a first person shooter game, and then a racing game, and then an adventure game, and so on, pick one game or one type of game and stick with it. So you could do smaller, downloadable PC type games that are all within one niche, like the horror niche, for example, or all role-playing games, or all driving games, all flying games, all puzzle games, and so on. But be sure to stick with one type. So one of those examples I gave you. And again, especially if you're just starting out. So if you decide to do driving games, like say the new Gran Turismo game, then stick with driving games for a little while. And if it's a huge driving game, then within that game, focus on one aspect of the game itself. Again, remember micro niche. Maybe it's a certain type of vehicle or certain types of driving like ra rally car racing, drift car racing, and so on. Focus on a very specific micro niche and stick with it. And here's why this is so important. You want to make it easy for YouTube's algorithm to identify your channel for specific content. So for channels that are all over the place with their content, YouTube is less likely to recommend that channel's content for a given topic versus a channel that has established itself for a specific niche. So if someone watches gameplay for a scary game or searches for gameplay for scary games, YouTube's algorithm wants to find and recommend content to those people. If your channel has 50 videos that are all within the scary gameplay niche, then you are far more likely to get your channel's content recommended to those people than if you only have a few scary game videos along with a mix of random gameplay from all sorts of other games. In a way, YouTube is gonna look at people that are interested in scary games based on their search history and their watch history and say, oh, you like scary games. Here's some content from an entire channel that has dedicated to putting out scary games. And the reason why is YouTube is gonna try to do its best to give people what they want in order to keep them on their platform. The same can be said with larger games like Fortnite. So as a simplified way to look at this, imagine someone wants to see funny Fortnite gameplay moments. If you only have two videos of funny moments related to Fortnite, and another channel has 20 videos of funny Fortnite moments, that other channel has 10 times the content you do for that person to watch. And so YouTube is more likely to push their funny gameplay content more than yours. Because if that person likes it, there's 20 more videos on that channel that person might also like. And again, they're gonna stay on YouTube's platform then. So again, think about micro niches, very specific targeted content, and do lots of it before you change and start doing other stuff. Let's go to tip number two. And real quick, if you just wanna supercharge the growth of your channel and get all my personal methods and tools for growing channels quickly, becoming a YouTube partner, earning AdSense revenue, and even monetizing your channels for additional automated income like I do, check out the link in the description to my video series we can watch over my shoulder copy me and set this up for yourself okay so for tip number two after you've determined what micro niche to focus on what will you specialize in that is almost everyone wants to be a youtuber it seems nowadays and so anyone with an internet connection and a youtube account can post content so why should someone subscribe to your channel versus any of the thousands of other channels out there what will you specifically do that is different or better than your competition? The more you can separate yourself from the countless other people that are wannabe YouTubers, the better. So here are some ideas to get you thinking. Are you providing commentary with your gaming videos? Is it funny? Is it informative? Is it entertaining? If you are able to do that, if you are funny, then that is great and you can use that to help separate yourself from everybody else. 
And if you're not funny, that's okay. If you don't want to provide commentary, that's fine too. Just specialize in something else in the gaming niche. For instance, you could specialize providing people with gaming cheats or gaming hacks, or gaming tips. Many games require you to level up or earn gaming currency to unlock, upgrade, or purchase things. You can simply show people the best way to farm currency or skill points, just Google it, do some research, and then continue to provide people with that specialized content. So rather than just gameplay, you're actually giving them information they can use. Another simple way you can specialize your content is by recording or even streaming in ultra high definition. So in 4K or even 8K for instance. If you have that capability, you automatically put yourself above everyone else's content with crappy quality. If you look at games like Red Dead Redemption, there are some channels out there that offer no commentary, no hacks, no other specialized content other than they simply record cool scenes in ultra high definition again like 4 or 8k and that's it that's what they specialize in that's what people are getting from their content that they're not getting from other people's content so simply look around you look at all the people posting content and then find your specialty what are they doing and then take it to the next level separate yourself from all the wannabes and ask yourself why should someone watch my content versus this guy's content or this girl's content if you can't figure that out and your channel's not growing, that's probably why. And for tip number three, be first. And all I mean by that is look ahead to what the next big thing is in your micro niche. If it's a new skin or a new horror game or some new downloadable content or a new season of whatever game you're playing, just make sure you keep yourself informed as to what is coming up and then put content out on that as fast as you can. You can simply join free gaming related sites and sign up for email notifications or text notifications, follow gaming feeds on Twitter and so on. If there's a demo release, download it and play it. If there's any sneak peek of new content, show it. If there are new features coming out, talk about it. People that are interested in your niche are really interested in what's new. And then they'll start coming to you to make sure that they get the latest if you are the one giving that content to them. So if you take that little extra step and putting that in a little extra effort, you can be one of the first with that content on the entire platform. And again, you'll separate yourself from all the wannabe YouTubers that aren't willing to put in that little extra effort. And if you're one of the first with that type of content on the entire YouTube platform, you have a good chance at going viral with some of it. So those are your three tips. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you want more easy and effective methods to supercharge your YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.